Are cheating dreams supposed to be taken seriously? When you're in a relationship with someone, there are times when you get dreams where your partner is cheating on you. You find yourself waking up in the middle of the night only to realize it was just a dream. You breathe a sigh of relief and try going back to sleep. Now, you might know about the kind of cheating dreams and what they mean. But do you know if you should take cheating dreams seriously? Psychologically, these types of dreams are very common. Most people in long-term relationships have a dream or two about cheating. 9 out of 10 times you don't need to take it literally or even assume that it might be a sign that your partner is getting some action on the side. Yes, it can get difficult to shake the mental image of it, but it's very crucial to remember that dreams are more about the dreamer than the person they dream about. It's actually your mind's job to connect the dots and make sense of the world while you're asleep and it does so through metaphor. This is why almost always dreams represent something that's drastically different from what they seem to mean on the surface. It's why there's always going to be more than just one explanation for your dreams. Hence, you shouldn't just jump to conclusions and instead, take that time to analyze your thoughts. Your cheating dream could be a result of leftover memories from old experiences in your life. Did you know, you're more likely to dream about cheating if a partner lied and cheated on you in the past? It creates distrust within the psyche that doesn't seem to go away. Even when you're with a new partner altogether, you can't seem to shake it off. If this is the case with you, these recurring dreams are a sign that you need to learn how to rebuild your ability to trust all over again. If you repeatedly keep having cheating dreams, you need to sit down with your partner and have a talk about the issue as soon as you can. Share everything that you went through in the past and how it's cropping up in your mind while you sleep. You can discuss the ways in which you can make the relationship feel more secure. This is one reason why dreams are very helpful as they inspire constructive conversations with your partner about topics that need to be discussed. Even though cheating dreams are very common, they can make you feel sick once you wake up. But you need to remember the fact that they aren't a secret message that your partner is cheating on you. They are more of a sign of your own inner turmoil. Thus, you should use these dreams as a conversation starter with your partner and focus more on bonding well with them. You'll soon find yourself sleeping peacefully once your mind is clear of thoughts. Why experimenting with distance in your relationship is vital for couples. Relationships require a lot of time and effort. The inexplicable feeling of loving someone and caring for them, while forming a strong bond, is in fact, beyond words. Often, those little moments you spend with your partner is what counts. Whether it's giggling about the cookie shape in a cafe or jokes about last week's gross Thai noodles. When you're together, the world seems to be a better place. Having fun together and exploring places, can seem like a dream come true for long-distance goers, whereas couples who live closely with each other or are in a live-in are experiencing the super sweet, exciting couple life that many long to have. It's truly a different experience altogether. Many live with each other for career purposes, or while traveling or simply because they want to. Indian society looks down poorly upon couples who live with each other before marriage and see them inappropriate to society's values and culture. But, many don't care and look for creative ways to continue living together, without posing any problem. The only drawback possible in such cases is that they have become accustomed to the idea of sticking up with each other. Distance is scary. There are many people who are forced to adapt in different places and stay away from their loved ones because of many reasons like jobs, education, etc. Couples also face long-distance relationships, sometimes for months or even years. In their case, they know what it's like to be away from their loved ones and also how to accept the fact that their partner isn't around them. Thank God for video and audio calls. It's one big relief for long-distance couples. But what happens to those who have always been together? Nothing particularly, but the shock and grief of distancing from each other someday due to circumstances. It might just terrify you, the thought of being away from someone you've been with for every day. However, over here, being away doesn't mean separation from a relationship but being forced to adapt to a long-distance relationship, even before you are ready. You break down. Your relationship may even crumble. That's why it's important to explore every parameter of a relationship. 
For couples, who have been in a live-in relationship or live close to each other, enough to meet every day, should consider this situation very carefully. It's important to consider being in a long-distance relationship at least once. If you're wondering that long distance isn't for you, then know this, how will you handle it when suddenly you both are forced to stay apart? Exactly, to rid yourself of such extreme possibilities, consider the idea of bringing distance among you both. This doesn't mean emotional distance, but physical distance. You need to play out the possibilities of staying apart at such a stage, where you can experiment with your relationship to find out your compatibility levels with your partner, especially in distances. Well, suppose, you've been in a relationship for more than five years now, but suddenly your job demands you to take a transfer to a different country for about a year or so. Needless to say, you feel professionally elated, but terrified of having a long-distance relationship. A few months later, you both break it off due to time and distance constraints. That's what, you may never know how it is going to play out once you're suddenly forced into that situation. In times like this, consider staying apart. Plan time apart. Make a trustful pact to return as quickly as possible and then analyze your differences in the relationship. This will not only make you stronger emotionally but will also help you to deal with emotions in a better way. Identifying major problems and red flags in the relationship and also, comparing them later, as to how much it can affect you, is necessary. After all, you should be able to know your partner in and out, in every situation. Security in a relationship is only possible when the two individuals are comfortable with each other in any situation, whether it's hardships or success. Many struggle to cope up with the other person's life and in turn, destroy their own life too. It is the very situations and circumstances that define the nature of your relationship. Whether it's trustworthy, comforting or just casual. If you notice that it doesn't affect your partner much, about being in a long-distance relationship, then chances are that they aren't serious about it. If they are being insecure, then maybe, communication is the best way out. Even if, despite all the differences, you are able to sort it out, alone on the strength of love, trust and understanding, then yes, your relationship will only flourish for the better. Be ready, to experiment a bit, because it can indeed give you the satisfaction and joy your need from love in your life.